Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash free. You can make formula fields which display the results of a running total versus simply showing the results tabulated at the end of a record grouping. You create these fields in the Field Explorer pane just as you would any other type of formula field. These fields function in much the same way as a summary field functions, however you have a greater amount of control over how the calculation is performed and when the calculation value is reset. To create a running total field, click on the running total fields entry in the Field Explorer pane. Then click the New button in the toolbar at the top of the Field Explorer pane to launch the Create Running Total Field dialog box. You use this dialog box to name the field and set its calculation properties. In the Running Total Name text box in the upper right hand corner, you can type a name for the running total field. In the Summary section, you select which field's values to calculate. You then click on the field to summarize within the available tables and fields, and just click the right pointing arrow button to move the selected field into the field to summarize text box over at the right. Then use the Type of Summary drop-down to select what type of summary calculation to perform over the chosen field. In the Evaluate section, you can set the parameters under which the calculation will be performed for the selected field's values. You can select the For Each Record option to calculate the chosen function for every record in the report. You could also choose the On Change of Field option to calculate a value based on the change to the value shown within another field. And if you do choose that option, then you would need to click on the field to use for the changing values in the Available Tables and Fields list at the left side of the dialog box, and then click the right pointing arrow button to move it into the On Change of Field text box at the right side. You could also choose the On Change of Group option button in the Evaluate section to evaluate the selected field on the change of a grouped value. And if you choose this option, then select which group's values you want to use from the drop down to the right of the On Change of Group label. You could also choose the Use a Formula option button and then click the X plus 2 button to invoke the formula editor. In the formula editor, you can create a formula that, when evaluated and found to be true, will then perform the selected calculation of the chosen field. And this is very handy for creating conditional running sum fields. So for example, if you wanted to sum amount sold, where the shipper for the order was FedEx, you could set that up as a condition under which the field would be added. And then this field simply shows the sum of all sales shipped from FedEx. So here we could put in an if statement. and then double check our syntax and click Save and Close. And notice if you do specify a formula it will turn to a maroon X plus 2 button. In the Reset section you can choose under which conditions the running total will be reset back to zero. If you select Never the field's values will never be set back to zero in a report. You could also choose On Change of Field option and what you would then do is choose the field by which you wish to reset the value from the list displayed in the Available Tables and Fields list at the left side of the dialog box and then click the right pointing arrow button to move the selected field into the text box displayed. You could also select the On Change of Group option and then select by which group's changing values you wish to reset the running total back to zero. You could also use a formula as well by choosing that option and then clicking the X plus 2 button to invoke the formula editor where you can create a condition that when met will reset the value of the running total field back to zero. Now once you've set the desired attributes of the running total field, 
you would just click OK in the Create Running Total Field dialog box. And the field you've created will then be displayed in the Field Explorer pane. And you can just insert it into your report as you would any other type of field. So if we wanted to, we could simply click it and drag it and drop it into this footer here. So here we're seeing per employee a running total of how much they shipped via FedEx. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash free.